Herodia, what has dog hookworms got to do with my itchy feet? This is the topic of this video. Welcome to cutaneous larval migrants. And what is cutaneous larval migrants or CRM? This is a phenomenon where one of the hookworm larval stages penetrates and crawls through your skin, causing leadness and intense pain. How do dog hookworms cause diarrhea in puppies and cutaneous larval migrants in you and me? Let's find out. If I recover hookworm eggs from a fecal test, my challenge is twofold. Number one, and the most important, I need to educate my client about cutaneous larval migrants or CRM. Number two, I need to treat the puppy for hookworms. So what are hookworms? Hookworms are microscopic parasites that attach themselves to the mucous membranes of the small intestines of dogs and puppies and suck lots and lots of blood. There are three species of hookworms important to you and me. These are Ancyrostoma canina, Ancyrostoma brasiliense, Uncinaria steno, steno, stenocepha. Let's look at the life cycle of hookworms. Stage 1. The male and female hookworms will mate in the small intestines. Stage 2. The female hookworm will then lay thousands and thousands of eggs which are shed in the feces. Stage number three. In the soil environment, these eggs will develop into larval stage one, which is non-infective or immature, to larval stage three, which is infective and mature. Here the dogs and puppies will contract hookworms in four ways. Number one. Transmission through ingestion. Here the dogs ingesting infected very the hookworm larvae when they come in contact with infected feces or objects contaminated with the fecal matter. All right. Ingesting infected elderly hookworm larvae when dog comes in contact with infected feces or objects contaminated with the fecal matter will get hookworms. The L3 will then travel into the small intestines where they will mature and start the life cycle all over again. Transmission number two is transmission through, the, through skin penetration. The L3 larvae can penetrate the skin of dogs walking on contaminated soil. They then travel through the blood system, get into the lungs and trachea, get coughed out and swallowed, and finally end up in the small intestines. Somatic migration. Sometimes the L3 larvae will lose their way in the lungs and may end up in the skeletal muscles or other organs where their development will be arrested or stopped. Transmammary transmission. This L3 larvae whose development has been stopped, right, may be reactive, the development may be reactivated and they may end up in the small intestines or be transmitted to newly born puppies through the bitch's milk. Transmission to people. You or your kid may accidentally contract the air of the larvae from a dog's or puppy's feces or when walking on contaminated soil. When you do, the air of the will penetrate and crawl through the epidermal and dermal layers of the skin. However, however, the L3, the L3 larvae is incapable of migrating to other body organs because it cannot digest the collagen base layer of the dermis or the inner layer of the skin. That's why the larval migration is termed cutaneous, cutaneous within the skin, just within the skin. What are the clinical signs of hookworm infestation in purpose? Pale and anemic mucous membranes. Diarrhea sometimes tinged with blood. Weakness 
and stunted growth. Note, adult dogs may exhibit zero clinical signs from hookworm infestation. How do you control and prevent hookworms? The most effective control and preventive measure of hookworms is safe disposal of dog feces. How do you treat hookworms? There are numerous effective medications for killing hookworms. Among them are Panacure of Enbendazole, Strogid or Pyrantia Palmoid, and the Revolution of Ceramectin. What are the clinical signs of cutaneous larval migraines? A red and large or papu snaking through the skin where the L3 made the penetration. Intense itching on the affected area. The latches are common on the arms and the soles of the feet. How do you control and prevent cutaneous larval migraines? The most effective method once again of controlling and preventing cutaneous larval migraines is safe disposal of fecal of dog feces. How do you treat cutaneous larval migraines? Visit your veterinary <laughs> Visit your family doctor if you or your kid have a niching latch anywhere on the legs or arms. And that's the end of the video. If this video was helpful, go ahead and subscribe, share it or comment or ask a question below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you definitely in the next video.